my face is bleeding. Good morning. I gotta stop starting vlogs like this and scaring people off. Um, I'm about to head to work for the day, but then tonight I'm trying something new. So Tara and Denise is always going to hot yoga in the mornings and I have class pass and there's not a ton of stuff by me, but there is a hot yoga class and I'm like, all right, let's give it a try. Um, so it's something I've never done before. I, I don't really do yoga. I haven't done it in like seven years maybe um and i'm a little intimidated by going to a new studio like you don't know the check-in process you might walk into the wrong room like i'm always afraid of like little things like that so i have hot yoga tonight i've been advised to drink a ton of water g leading up to it so that's what i'm gonna do but uh yeah hopefully i don't die <laughs> Okay, it's my first time at this yoga studio, so obviously I'm a little nervous to walk in there, but um, we're all sitting in the parking lot. Like, the person next to me is obviously also waiting to go in. The person behind me is waiting to go in, so I'm going to wait till everyone goes in. Um, but they might be regulars. Like, again, I don't know where to put my bag. Do I need to check in somewhere? I don't know. I also don't do yoga, so this is going to be a kick in the ass. Looking a little rough, but I feel really good. So I survived my first hot yoga. I am not a yoga person at all. Like that is not fun to me. It doesn't, I don't know. I just don't like it. When I work out, I want to like an ass kicking workout. That's why I like cardio and like spin and Zumba and stuff. But I was like, let me try it. Cause I'm on the class pass app. I have like a free month and it expires in six days and I haven't used it yet. So I was like, ah. and there's not a ton of classes by me. There was um, some hot yoga classes near me. So I decided to try it out and I really liked it. Well, again, I'm not a yoga person, but I felt really good. And I think the heat helps cause it's really like getting rid of the toxins in your body. Like my skin is glowing right now. Um, Make sure you drink a ton of water before you go, if you do go. Um, I was struggling a little with the moves, but I think that would have happened even if it wasn't hot because I don't do yoga. So I like don't have um, that skill set, but I think I did pretty good. Um, you walk in there and it's like blasting hot. It felt really good though. Felt like a nice little warm hug. And then we got into it. And I like that yoga has a lot of like, okay, we're just gonna sit in this and breathe. like breathing for a good minute straight yeah that's like my kind of workout and at the end like there's a good like five whole minutes of you just lying on your back while this comic music plays it's very asmr so i like that aspect of it and again i liked like you truly felt every bad thing leaving your body and it did um like calm me down like my mind is always racing and it wasn't when I was in there I think because I was so focused on how much I was sweating there was probably 12 people in the class and every five seconds I was grabbing my towel to like wipe off and I didn't feel like anyone else was doing that maybe I'm just really sweaty but there was other people struggling I love it in a gym class when there's a thin person struggling because I'm like okay it's not just me because I'm fat it's hard in general and the girl next to me was super thin just in a sports bra and she was like taking a five every five minutes like okay all right this is isn't just me it's hard but yeah as much as a non-yoga person that i think i am i would definitely go back so i guess class pass worked i'm trying new things um but i really like the studio i really like the teacher uh, it's easy to get to good parking the check-in process was easy i was literally like shannon and they're like okay just fill this out because i was a first timer and there was a few other first timers there too so i didn't feel too weird so it all worked out my clothes are drenched though i wasn't just sweating it was shooting out of me like i would say i've never sweat that much but i've been to a frat party in september that is pure hell last time i had class pass i did a trampoline class in july that was I would say the hottest thing, temperature-wise, I've ever done. Uh, my kneecaps were sweating. My eyeballs were sweating. It was sweaty. Anyways, we'll see. I'm gonna go. Bye. Okay, I hate that I look like a bald man when I have my hair up for the gym, but I am at my second um, class 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 pass class. Um, I'm at a studio that's actually owned by my favorite spin instructor. So I've been here before. I really like it. I want to keep coming here again. I feel a little bad that I'm doing this through ClassPass because I'd rather him get the money 
straight to him, but I have to use these class pass credits up this week. So after this, I'll like directly pay for classes here because I want to support, you know, my friends and local businesses. Um, but this one is like a strength training class and I do a lot of cardio. So it's good that I'm adding this to my workout. I like really need to like do something with my arms here. Um, so it's going to be a different kind of workout. And again, it's with a friend. So I'm really happy I'm here. I do have a little protein thing for afterwards. I hear you're supposed to drink like chocolate milk after a workout to like help rebuild your muscles or something. So I believe everything I see on the internet. So I got some of that for afterwards. But yeah, I figured I'd check in. I have worked out almost every day this week. I've been doing really good. I've been killing it. I'm at a personal best in my spin class, so I'm really proud of myself. I'm pushing through like these hurdles. <laughs> I sound really like a motivational speaker, but I, in spin class, there's PowerPoints, um, and I'm usually around like a 215. All week, I've been hitting 300 or over, and that has not happened in months, so I'm really proud of myself. I don't know what is happening, but it's good. So, um, I'm gonna get my ass kicked in like a weightlifting class. This is gonna be intense. Um, I know that, but it's a kind of good ass kicking workout. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Oh my God, I told him when I got in there to kick my ass and he kicked my ass. My legs are like this right now, but I feel really good. Like that's the kind of workout I wanted. Um, it was a lot of circuits, so you do like the rower for a minute, then get up and do like weights or like some kind of lungy thing for a minute. But that was rough, but I liked it. So like I said, he's my spin instructor and I like bike 10 and every Tuesday, this girl Gabby is on bike 11. So we're always riding next to each other. And then she was in the class this morning, but her hair was down and I was like, oh my God, you're Gabby. Like we only ever see each other like this in the dark. And then like we were like workout buddies in this class. So it was like fun to see someone from spin class outside of spin class. Um, I was gonna do a spin class after this workout, but I'm happy I didn't. Like I said, I my legs are wobbly, but I feel really good. Um, so this is that core power protein drink, like chocolate milk. I'm not loving it so far. I'm like about here. It tastes really like chalky and it definitely tastes like a protein shake. And I was just hoping for a straight up chocolate milk, which is what I might do in the future. Also, I've noticed this is Fair Life, which I believe was recently in the news for like torturing cows. So I'm not about that. Um, I'm gonna finish it because I bought it, but like going forward, will not buy this again. Uh, so I'm just gonna make some eggs right now just to like get some like actual protein in me and have breakfast. But I feel good. Like that's the kind of workout I wanted. Um, I'm going to the movies later. I need to film two try on videos. I desperately need a haircut. Um, it's like down to here, but from here to here, it's like dead and limp and gross. So I don't know if I want to just cut the deadness off and go to here or like straight up get a haircut and go here. I did buy a Groupon for this place. Caitlin recently got a haircut there. She liked it. And then I was reading their Yelp and the owner is like so sassy and mean in all the Yelp responses. And I was like, yeesh. But I did see a Groupon and then Groupon was running 25% um, off the prices. So I'm going to get a wash, cut and blow out for $22. Obviously I will tip on the full amount because I'm not a monster. Um, but I was like, okay, that I can fuck with. I have a hair cutting place that I like. It's right down the street, but a girl who I went to like kindergarten through 12th grade with her mom works there and every time I go there's small talk so I'm willing to give up <laughs> my hair cutting place just to not have small talk with someone from middle school's mom that's the lengths I go to so feel good I got my workout in gotta do some videos today and then hopefully there's room for me tomorrow to get my hair cut i did just dye it. it's nice and red right now so i'm trying not to wash it um because i feel like the red washes out so fast so i'm gonna be a grease ball and just do like a water rinse um and be gross but i'm just trying to keep it red as long as i can but i just cannot look at myself like this anymore so i'll be going Okay, since there's no floor length mirror in my house, I'm just gonna stand on this bench. But I could not stop checking myself out in the mirror at class. I'm in my, are we gonna zoom? Under Armour leggings that were fit from my body. And then the shoes I got from Amazon, so comfy, lightweight, 
love them and then just like a black tank but then my little jacket from Under Armour that I got on sale have not taken this off since I got it so my little chic workout outfit also this looks gross but it's sauteed onions and mushrooms so I'm gonna make a little omelet out of these things right here and I had it the other day and it was so good who doesn't like onions and mushrooms I'm gonna make this to compensate for this it's not terrible but it's not like amazing so I keep signing off and then remembering stuff to say but what I really liked about today's class is that I knew the instructor and he pushed me like I was doing lifts with like 10 pounds and 10 pounds so like 20 pounds and he's like you're strong let's do 20 pounds so I had 20 pounds in this hand 20 pounds in this hand he was spotting me but like I was doing it so I really needed that push and I really like that like you're stronger than you think I feel really good but I definitely needed that so yeah heating these up I'm gonna put the eggs on top I feel like when you scramble it feels like less eggs than what you put in so I'm gonna attempt to flip it all like an omelet so heating up the onions and the mushrooms. Ooh, baby. I don't know if I want to add cheese. I feel like I can never taste the cheese when I add it, so it's like, why bother? But this is gonna be good. If I can flip it correctly, it'll be really good. I was so close to the perfect flip, and then that happened. It's all good. It's going straight into my mouth anyways. I just had to show you this buffoonery. So I went window shopping on Mod Cloth, and I even get an email. It's like, check out these markdowns, and it's for this cute little grandma sweater, which I have had my eye on. Really cute. A bunch of plus size bloggers have this. Check out this price. So it is marked down four whole dollars. Why even bother? That's not even 10%. And I feel like 10% is like a joke when I get that as a discount. So 79 down to 75. Like, come on. So this is going to have to wait till July when it's like $12, but it's really cute. But like, why bother? This is a joke. Good morning. So I'm outside my hair salon. It's 8.44 and my appointment is at 9. I also think it opens right at 9, so I don't know when to walk in. Um, but this haircut is much needed. I have not gotten a haircut since... January of 2019 at my DNCO like commercial shoot the hairstylist was bored and was like can I cut your hair and I was like okay so that was the last time and it is ratty AF um I'm just lazy and I've talked about it before but I have a hair salon that I like but um someone I know is mom works there and I'm just like not about the small talk life so decided to go somewhere else but i was like pushing it off all last year and then i was like well i want to cut it off but then i have the wedding or i want to cut it off but then i have my birthday like so i kept pushing it off but it's time it's so dead like when i put it in like a braid i have to stop here because there's like not enough um but i did just dye it so i'm very happy with my color it's so greasy right now because i'm trying to maintain the red the red washes out so fast um but i need my bangs back they've gotten too long so I'm trying to find a picture of me in here that I like with my bangs so she can kind of recreate it I never leave a haircut happy um, so I don't want to go do anything too drastic but thinking like cut it to here and then fix my bangs make them a little bit more full okay I gotta do this a little quickly because the battery's running out but look new hair baby I really like it I had a pretty pleasant experience with the salon and they had like kind of off Yelp reviews, but I was very happy with the girl who did it. Um, but look at the length. Like I was like, just cut off anything that's dead. And she's like, it might be a little short. And I'm like, whatever. And I'm really happy with the length. Like when it's straight, it'll be like right at nipple length. So I'm pretty happy with that. The bangs are good. She styled it. So I got like a nice little loose wave. I'm pretty happy with this. So the Groupon worked out. Okay, so we got the finished product. So she probably took like four or five inches, which is what I told her to do. I'm like, cut anything that's dead off. And um, we kind of agreed on this length and it's still pretty long, which I like, but it's definitely a big difference, which I also like. The most important part though, is that it's healthy. Like I had like, straw as hair, like hay. Um, like that was all dead and gross. So now I have like nice healthy hair. I love the way it's sitting too. She gave me a little bit 
of body in here. My hair is so flat most of the time, so nice little body right now. So it's a good thing I'm not working out today because I'm trying to preserve this as long as possible. Um, the bangs got to take some getting used to. This is how I do them, but um, because they're so short right now, they're kind of like doing their own thing. So just give me a few days, a little bit of grease, you know, and they'll be falling like, like this is how, no, that's not it. Like this is how I like, no, again, my bangs have a mind of their own, so no, this is how I like it, okay. No um, hairstylist can get it right, so it's not like anyone's fault or anything, um, but I really liked the experience. I'll be going back to that place, I really liked it. I got a little goodie bag at the end with a little mini wet brush in there, so who doesn't like a goodie bag? I'm gonna give them a good Yelp review. It's so crazy, because like, that Yelp page with the owner, like, going after everybody on there. It's like, girl, it's bad for business. I had like a weird feeling going in because of how the owner acted on Yelp, but I'll be giving a good Yelp review. I'm very happy with the experience, with the look, with the cut. So um, hopefully it's not another year till I get another haircut. Like I need to be more proactive about that kind of stuff. So it's just healthier. I do like it long, but if I cut it more often, it'll be healthier as it grows but most of the time time just escapes me like six months will pass and i'm like what so if i schedule it i think i'll be better but i'm very very happy with how this looks it's so cute 